greetings from me. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to to tell what is happening here and uh, actually what is happening with uh, septic flesh. Uh, now the vaccination is uh, at hand to limit the danger, you know, to the to the population. The summer will be much easier than uh, last uh, summer. A uh, good uh, situation uh, in Greece. It was something that uh, we wanted to do since a long time, as uh, we are uh, a symphonic death metal band, and uh, the symphonic element, element is uh, an integral part of uh, our music. So it was uh, just about uh, the right timing to do it, yeah, also because uh, it's uh, the expense uh, and everything, you know. We had uh, some proposals, and uh, the, pro the proposal that uh, we received from Mexico was uh, really good. Uh, we felt that uh, everybody involved uh, would uh, give uh, 100% for everything to go well. And uh, also the audience uh, in Mexico is uh, very uh, supportive. And so we put everything uh, under uh, consideration and uh, we made uh, this uh, choice. You know. And uh, as it was a special event, we also had the chance to shoot it and uh, uh, present our audience uh, something visual in the form of a video, Blu-ray, etc. And so also, you know, it was uh, very important that uh, the venue was uh, the right venue to do something symphonic. Uh, we had uh, a big stage. Uh, to put all those uh, people uh, on stage, you know, all those uh, singers and uh, classical musicians. And of course, uh, as it is uh, an opera, uh, an old uh, house, you know, for uh, concerts uh, and stuff like that, uh, it was uh, really great uh, to perform there. Uh, justified uh, our uh, choice, I think. Uh, first of all, uh, we have... Uh, uh, Christos uh, Antoniou, that is uh, a composer in uh, the field of classic music. So we have uh, one of the uh, main composers of the band is a classic uh, composer and soundtrack uh, composer. So we didn't uh, had to depend on a third party to present our ideas. Everything is uh, inside job as uh, Christos uh, evolved in the field of uh, comp composition after uh, many years of uh, uh, study and actually in university we felt uh, really uh, strong uh, at our second uh, period to attempt difficult things uh, more uh, intricate uh, uh, compositions uh, when uh, where uh, the classical elements uh, are equal to the metal elements and not uh, just uh, a background to the next step, uh, starting with uh, communion, of course. And uh, gradually, <clears throat> as uh, we found uh, our pace, because, uh, you know, we attended a lot of stuff that uh, uh, actually needed experimentation to to take form for instance uh, the rhythm when you have uh, classical instruments and um, a different uh, perspective uh, there are many different options uh, on the rhythm but uh, on the other hand we are a death metal band so we wanted to to have uh, the orchestra as an extra element but uh, also uh, have uh, something very extreme with blast beats, with headbagging uh, uh, riffing. So we had to, to think uh, and imagine uh, ways to, to make those uh, uh, different elements uh, combined together in the best uh, possible way. So uh, with each album, uh, we, we feel more confident to, to evolve and, uh, uh, and uh, you know, we step on uh, the last uh, step of the ladder and we, we climbed gradually with yeah. its uh, album. It was uh, primitive. <laughs> uh, we had uh, no help at all. Uh, we had uh, negative uh, treatment from uh, social media, the locals. Uh, we were, uh, 
like dangerous types, you know, <laughs> because yeah. we were extreme, too extreme uh, for uh, society at uh, that point. And uh, it was not uh, easy. We had uh, also no experience, uh, no some, someone to guide us, no managers, no nothing, you know, no good venues to play metal. So we had only our ambition and uh, uh, our uh, uh, flame, a flame inside us that uh, uh, just uh, pushed us uh, to surpass the obstacles. And of course, uh, you know, it was underground. Then uh, the Greek scene was not uh, famous, was uh, not even on the map at the time, on the extreme map, I mean. Mm -hmm. However, a lot of bands uh, came out at the, 90, at the 90s, uh, a lot of uh, great bands, and uh, so uh, the Greek scene uh, started to gain uh, a momentum and uh, a good reputation uh, with the passing of uh, the years. Uh, we're actually using a second studio for the classical recordings because it's uh, easier uh, as uh, we are collaborating with uh, the Film Harmonic Orchestra of Prague. It's more easier for them to do the recordings in Prague uh, than uh, you know, to, to get them uh, into Greece. So uh, we, had, uh, we have uh, a different uh, studio that uh, uh, is in Prague and uh, the members of the orchestra uh, are, uh, are, co are accustomed to two and uh, have worked uh, many times and then it's uh, a matter of uh, uh, making the, the right plans uh, giving everything uh, to them uh, and uh, the instructions and uh, the notes and everything and uh, how we want uh, everything uh, to sound and uh, have a good uh, communication uh, and the recordings of the metal elements. And uh, the last phase phase is uh, to combine them, to do the mix, to make the hard decisions, uh, uh, because you, know, you cannot uh, have everything. Uh, you, you must decide uh, which is uh, the most uh, important element. And, uh, uh, what to put uh, in front as uh, the protagonist at uh, every specific point of uh, the song. And uh, then we have the final uh, mix and the final uh, result. Yes, yeah. well, uh, all these uh, special editions uh, are, uh, you know, part of uh, uh, the label uh, uh, strategy. Uh, we are always uh, uh, trying to, when we, we make something special, to be indeed special, to have uh, indeed something that uh, our fans will appreciate. And uh, as we have uh, <clears throat> uh, a lot of visual mat material, uh, because we have also an, uh, a digital artist illustrator, uh, <laughs> you know, Seth Sirandon, that uh, is not only a composer, but uh, uh, has made a lot of uh, album covers for bands and stuff like that. So we have also a lot of uh, visual material available at uh, any release that we, uh, we make. And on the other hand, as we have uh, uh, a lot of layers of uh, classical music, uh, that uh, not everything uh, uh, is uh, on the final uh, result of, uh, with the metal element. Uh, it's a chance uh, when we make a special release to to put uh, only the classical uh, elements in uh, specific CDs, you know, in special editions, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, present a different approach on uh, the songs in that way. Uh, and of course, uh, when we have uh, some live, live recordings that uh, are good. Uh, also, these parts are included in, on uh, some uh, uh, releases and special, uh, you know, releases. Um, 
communion was a turning point for many reasons uh, because uh, it was uh, our second coming and uh, uh, at that point uh, we didn't uh, know what to expect uh, if uh, people uh, still uh, remembered us if uh, they would uh, embrace our new uh, second uh, try. You know, everything was open at uh, that uh, point. Uh, but uh, we just uh, attempted to do whatever we wanted, you know, because uh, we felt that uh, when you do whatever you, uh, it comes natural, natural to you, it's, it is uh, the best uh, solution uh, always no matter the, the outcome. And uh, thankfully, uh, the audience uh, embraced uh, our second uh, uh, coming. <laughs> and uh, not only embraced, but uh, the band was uh, elevated from that uh, point on. So it was a very critical album. If uh, Communion uh, did not receive the uh, this uh, uh, great uh, 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 yes, uh, from the crowd, you know, yeah. uh, everything will be different at the end. Uh, we had uh, someone that uh, works uh, in special effects uh, in movies, and uh, also actually we used him. Uh, for the Prometheus uh, video clip, uh, for the transformation of uh, the characters. Anyway, uh, so we had this idea to uh, to create uh, our own costumes. Uh, uh, as each member has a specific character, and uh, we wanted to with our costumes uh, to. Uh, to to give uh, that that character a more uh, uh, distinctive uh, uh, presence, and uh, so we collaborated uh, with this guy, you know, and uh, we present him uh, our ideas how we imagined uh, our costumes uh, would be, and uh, he did the job, you know. Uh, and uh, of course, he used uh, uh, as prototypes. For example, uh, Seth uh, was the prototype. Uh, his body was the prototype, you know, to build uh, around the specific uh, armor-like uh, uh, costume. And uh, I always had a more uh, uh, priest kind uh, uh, image. So I preferred this long uh, uh, costume that uh, that I wear. Uh, the drummer always uh, needs something more light because he hits the drums. Yeah. <laughs> and he cannot wear too much. And you know these uh, these elements were the, the what uh, uh, guide us uh, to our decision about our uh, costumes. Uh, well, first of all. Uh, we didn't uh, uh, felt uh, at the time that uh, we had uh, much time, much personal time to give to the band. Uh, its member was focused uh, on something else at that time. Uh, and also uh, we, we were in a label that was not so stable to, to, to depend on. We were uh, in Hammerheart uh, Records at the time, and uh, everything was uh, very slow, you know, because they had some uh, issues with uh, the budget, with money, and everything was going uh, so slow that, uh, you know, we felt uh, uh, not uh, right. It felt not right at the time. And uh, so we decided to, to take a break you know, to focus on our personal goals. And, uh, you know, actually, as uh, you can understand, Christos has had his uh, uh, studies with uh, the classic music. He wanted to focus on classic music. Spiros was uh, also deep 
into creating uh, paintings and uh, art and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, it was a point that uh, we felt that we could uh, use for personal uh, reasons. And uh, we didn't uh, see at that point that we, can, we could uh, provide uh, the energy needed for the band to, to keep on. Uh, however, as everything is uh, uh, about time uh, and time uh, went on in the past, so uh, there was a, 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 an empty spot in our heart without Sepik we all felt it, and it was uh, uh, faithful, you know, to to go to uh, to come back and uh, present again uh, music. Actually, there were some uh, actual uh, drum recordings in some uh, albums and uh, songs, but uh, in most parts, indeed, the uh, drum machine was uh, heavily used. Uh, as I told you, it was a very primitive uh, period. Uh, there were too few drummers and uh, all played in uh, 10, uh, 12, uh, 20 bands. Yeah. <laughs> very few drummers, uh, too many guitarists. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, very few good drummers. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't uh, have uh, someone to depend 100% uh, uh, at the very early uh, point uh, of uh, the band. And uh, we had to share drummer, you know, that also had other uh, bands uh, playing in other drums. So we, and as we were the main composers, we composed everything, uh, also the drums. And it was also a matter of uh, sound because the studio in Greece, uh, the studios in Greece uh, had uh, very few, uh, very poor means uh, to record, to make a good recording. Mm -hmm. So actually with the drum machine, we had a better uh, sound than uh, we would record uh, with actual drums in most uh, cases. First of all, uh, Kerim is a great guy. Uh, we have a lot of fun together, you know, he's, uh, he, he's making jokes, he's uh, a positive energy uh, guy. And uh, this is uh, something very uh, great in, in the band, you know, uh, to boost uh, the energy and uh, the positive uh, thinking. And uh, besides that, uh, he's uh, a, a complete uh, musician. Uh, not only uh, he's not only playing drums, but he has uh, uh, a lot of ideas. Uh, he knows, uh, you know, uh, how to to present, you know, how to make uh, your riffs uh, more uh, powerful. Uh, He's a very, uh, very hard working guy. Uh, he's playing drums uh, every day for many hours. Uh, you know, he's a maniac with the drums. And uh, on the stage, uh, he performs 100%. Uh, uh, you listen to the songs exactly as they are on, on the albums. So, you know, he has sold the, the whole package. And uh, so we are very, Glad that we have him uh, aboard. Of course, we yeah. have. Uh, we are uh, at uh, a very good point. Uh, all ideas uh, are now uh, coming to, to an end. You know, very few material needs to be recorded. Uh, so, actually, we are at uh, the last phase. Uh, the phase that uh, we, we made uh, the final decisions and uh, uh, we will have the production and uh, the mix. And uh, of course, uh, you will listen to this year to you will listen to new material from Setic Flesh. Uh, this time, uh, uh, the material will come out from a Nuclear Blast 
and uh, this is uh, something that uh, means that uh, there will be uh, more promotion uh, uh, to do everything will be more <laughs> yeah. uh, we are ready you know to 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 give a 100 percent uh, to everything uh, also we are ready for the live shows when uh, uh, the venues will be open again hopefully yeah. soon yeah. and uh, the festivals and everything else uh, so uh, we start to feel uh, optimism uh, we intended to to present something uh, more uh, sooner mm -hmm. but you know the situation was uh, unpredictable so everything is uh, is going uh, backwards but uh, I think that uh, we have uh, left behind the, the difficult part now we are coming to more easier uh, uh, to a more easier peri period yes uh, we have uh, John uh, Simonis uh, that is uh, a very good uh, friend of ours and also uh, understands uh, our vision so we will work uh, with him again uh, for the next uh, videos not only video you will see a lot of stuff from Seti Flesh uh, I cannot tell you more details <laughs> only this only this information that uh, there is a lot to see this time. Okay. The last album, I don't know. <laughs> the, the first album mm -hmm. I bought. Actually, you know, because uh, I'm a dinosaur, I, I bought a cassette. Uh, anyway, the first album. I think it was uh, Dio. Mm, ah. Hold Diver, I think. It was uh, my first album. In the format, of course, of... Uh, uh, there were not CDs at the time, there were uh, actual vinyls, you know, of course, of course, uh, that was always something that uh, uh, helped us uh, to have an open mind. Uh, every, uh, each uh, band member of Athletic uh, Class is listening to a lot of different uh, musical styles, not only metal, but of course, uh, metal is our favorite uh, uh, genre uh, to listen to. And uh, all kinds of metal, uh, doom, uh, death, thrash, uh, whatever, uh, everything black. Uh, we, we love a lot of uh, different uh, styles of uh, metal, classic metal, you know. Uh, also, we listen uh, a lot of uh, soundtrack, as you may guess. Uh, we, we like uh, composers as uh, Danny Elfman, for example, uh, Basil uh, Boliduris. Uh, and uh, a lot of others. Uh, also, we like uh, Abby and stuff. Uh, we like uh, uh, to listen to stuff like uh, Dead Can Dance. And uh, actually, we had the chance uh, one time to play together in a live show. It was a great uh, experience. Uh, also, rock, you know, we, we like, uh, I like uh, to listen to David Bowie, for, for instance uh this uh, the uh, gothic uh you know the the classic bands uh, cure uh, uh also some uh, not uh, so known uh i also i like a lot uh, to listen to fields of the nephilim um yes uh, gothic is one of my my other favorite uh, uh, genres uh a lot of uh, different uh, music, classical music, of course. Uh, I think that uh, the magic of music is uh, uh, how it makes you feel. You know, it's uh, the emotions. Uh, when uh, I listen to something and uh, I feel uh, uh, something deep, uh, then it's good for me. And uh, this is my, my criteria. I don't care if uh, how you name it, uh, if it is popular if, or if uh, only me, I'm listening to it. <laughs> I don't uh, care. Uh, it's all about uh, emotions. I think all of those kinds uh, we can find also in septic flesh music, more or less. Maybe not, yes, uh, not really gothic, but a little bit of it. Or um, doom and death metal, yeah, of yeah. course. 
Yes. Yes, yes. Because, uh, you know, when you listen to music, some part uh, becomes you. Yes. This is uh, something, uh, music is something that uh, uh, is trans transmuted from person to person. Yeah. So it's not something that uh, you present from thin air. It's something that exists. Uh, there are specific notes, but uh, these notes are played in a million different ways uh, with a million, uh, million different emotions. Yeah. This is the magic uh, of music. Yeah, of course. We thank you very much. And it was a pleasure for us uh, to have you here and have an interview with you. And hopefully all of us uh, stay safe and uh, see you live on stage again. Of course. Enjoyed the, the interview. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to your uh, channel. And uh, of course, I, I wish also to everybody uh, to stay healthy and uh, strong. Uh, we will uh, surpass this uh, hard time and uh, let's uh, uh, get ready for the next phase that will be better and uh, return to something more positive. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully.